Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead for another chicken coop video. Getting really close to the end here. Today I want to focus on the accessories. So we're going to do a chicken ladder, chicken feeder, and a chicken watering system. And also roosts inside the coop. Uh, we do got some little chicks in there, they've been kind of acclimating. And then uh, once we get the ladder and all this set up, we'll let them out and work on the roosts. If you want to jump ahead to any one of these accessories that uh, you find more interesting that you need information on, go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Start with the easy, the easy things first. The chicken run. So what I got here is a two by, looks like a eight, no, oh, two by 10. Uh, we used to use it for getting motorcycles into the back of the truck, but we got a better system after that. Just got a little piece of aluminum here. I felt like it would probably work for this. And then just some scrap wood I had laying around. Uh, some one by two. What we're gonna do is attach these every six inches. So let's do our first one here. It's a good idea to um, pre-drill, especially if you're using old wood or even two by, one bys seem to split pretty easily. And then uh, galvanized screws would probably be a best idea. We'll be out here in the weather. So the research that I've been doing says six inches spacing is good. They'll hop up it. If you want, you can go smaller and they'll be able to walk up it. Uh, it's a pretty long run that I'm gonna have here. So I'll probably just go six and they can hop up it. Six is pretty tight. If you want to get really fancy with it, use the square and that'll help you get it straight across. So now you might be asking yourself, what's with these? Laziness, that's what's with those. That's handy. Okay, next up we'll work on the chicken feeder. Uh, been doing a lot of research on these too. Um, there is different things you can do. You can get like 45s and it just comes out the bottom and feeds this, feeds out that way. I did find this one and it seemed really easy and not much to, to, to put together. What this is, this is schedule, I can't really call it schedule 20, but it, it's a thin walled, come on. Thin walled PVC. I had some of this left over. It's typically used for drainage around French drains and stuff like that, or uh, sewer, not sewer pipe, uh, what do you call it? Septic systems and stuff. And then they sell these Ys. Uh, you could do this out of normal PVC. This is four inch. And so the parts that you'll need, a Y and two caps and some pipe. What we'll do first is this is going to go on like so, but we want to have a bottom piece here so that it holds up off the ground. For the bottom of the pipe where it's going to sit off the ground, uh, I would suggest keeping it small uh, because as you make it taller, it's going to raise up the Y and they won't be able to get in there too easy. But as far as the upper section that's going to hold your feed, make it as tall as you can reasonably uh, reach up and pour into it. And then if it's too short, you could cut another one or um, put like a brick or something underneath it and that'll hold it up off the ground. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about once we get it mounted. A 
Okay, that didn't work out as planned. Let's try a different method. Okay, so we got the piece cut. I uh, just slap it in there and then I'll put the bottom on like so. That's uh, it's pretty simple. I am not going to glue this just yet. I just want to make sure it's going to work out correctly. And if I do need to raise it, then um, I'll put it together later, but I'll, uh, I'll let them give it a, a run and see what's going on. For the top, I'm just using what I have left over and putting it in. So this is what's known as plumber's tape. Just, uh, this is a plastic style and it's got holes in it, pre-drilled. Then I'll take my feeder, set it there and wrap it around. So I'm gonna do two of these. So let me slam that one together real quick. So now we get to the watering system. There'll be a cover, couple different aspects to this system. Uh, Oh, that's a big plan. First, we'll start off with these waterers. And they're, um, you can find them online or at your local uh, feed store or your chicken supply. Let's, um, let's lay out this pipe and uh, then we'll go ahead and mount. Okay, so first um, figure out your desired length and then go ahead and cut that. Uh, you can use those um, crimp style ones, but I'm a millennial and I got weak, weak grip strength, so just use the tool. And before you put any fittings on there, find a side that doesn't have any writing on it here. Grab a Sharpie or a pin or something and set it down on something flat and run your Sharpie along the pipe there. that does is it gives you a straight line all the way through. And then on these waters, they're calling for a 3 8 uh, drill bit. Check your instructions. Next up, we're gonna add a, um, a cap to the end and I'm gonna put a 90 on this so it kind of where I'm mounting, it's gonna run underneath the coop. Um, oh, and I am using one inch line. Uh, you could do this with three quarter. Uh, I just have a lot of one inch sitting around. All my PVC around here is one inch. Um, but they sell these fittings here and they go from uh, three quarter inch pipe PVC to a uh, hose end. So I'll just step down from uh, one inch to three quarter to catch that hose in there. And they also sell these in the uh, female part. Prime up everything. It's a good trick to prime your uh, fittings first because you can set those down. Some glue, push and twist, just have it. This isn't gonna be under pressure, but uh, it's just something I've always done. So we got this glued up. What I'm gonna do real quick is uh, give it a second to dry and then run over to the hose and uh, run some water through it. That way it'll kind of flush out any of the glue. It will linger for a little while. Okay, welcome to the back side of the coop. So what I've got here is just a, oh, oh, chickens with like those oh, wood roaches. What I got here is a uh, drum. I don't know where I got it from, but I want to set this spigot hose right there. I um, mean, you can go and buy those rain barrels. Um, they're pretty expensive. I mean, this, you can pick them up on, you used to be able to get them on Craigslist or whatever, but uh, you can usually find these somewhere. I'll show you how I drill these out and they usually work most of the time. So what I got here is a uh, seven eighths hole saw. You could also use a Forstner bit if you have one of those. Just drill a hole in there. Ooh, this one's heavy, do D. Next thing I'll bust out is the, uh, the old torch and give it the torch. And 
don't over tighten it. That should do. Let that dry up. And again, we'll uh, run some water through this first. Okay, so now I got this all, uh, the glue all dried up and uh, rinsed out. According to the instructions, let's see, I'm gonna go this way with it. You three eighths hole and you just force it, kind of push and twist. Right, to the right. <laughs> Keeps wanting to pop out. Alrighty, let's try something different here. Let's try uh, chasing those one more time. Okay, let's try giving it a wobble. What the? F huh. I think I got an idea. More fire. Seems to be working. Well, that one threaded. Okay. One more thing to do. We should be running water. All right, so now what I got going on here is I just attached a old hose and I cut it to length here where I'm gonna mount the uh, water. So let's uh, put a hose end on there. These things aren't too bad. Uh, if you've never done one before, Basically just got some uh, barbs on there. And uh, just smush it in there. This hose should probably be in the trash, but uh, let's see if we can't get a little bit more use out of it. Hey, Caterpillar, you are gonna be chicken food here pretty soon. As you can see, I did mount this piece of wood here. I left it low because the chickens are teenage years right now, so they're somewhat short. And then as they get taller, uh, from the research I've been doing, they say that you want your chickens to kind of have their head up when they're drinking the water, because when they're drinking out of their little dish now, they get some water and then they throw their head back and swallow it. So just have that in mind, keep, keep your water high. Fill it up, see what happens. Nice. So I did end up getting some leakage out of these two that I uh, went a little crazy and burnt in. So I just added some silicone pretty heavy onto the uh, backside, the part that goes into the pipe and stuffed it in there and kind of held it for a bit and they're, uh, they're definitely solid now. These ones didn't give me any trouble, not sure why. Okay, so we, uh, now that we let the chickens free, I want to build a, a roost inside here for them. I want to make this really nice so when I start cleaning it, We'll just be able to lift this up and uh, maybe hang something, hang a little rope down that we can hook to it. So let me let me show you what I'm thinking here. So the plan for this roost is should be pretty simple and, and hopefully convenient once once we get going. First thing I've done is I'm cutting a 40, I cut a 45 on the base of this two by four here. This is 48 inches long, could change depending on how you want to do yours. And then I cut what you call dog ears off the top of the two by four and that'll make sense once we get a little bit further. But let's go ahead and cut another one of these and uh, also take a measurement and uh, for our roosts.
for the boards that they will stand on. All right, so the first cut we will make is we're just gonna take the 45 side of the square here, come off the point of the two by four and mark that. And then the next measurement that I did, one inch off of the edge on both sides and take the speed square so that it meets your mark right there. And that'll take a 45, one inch off. Boom, boom. And this is what's called a dog ear when you cut these off, like the dog ear fence. Alrighty. Let's get our, uh, let's drill a hole in here real quick. So another good thing to do to match these up would be place them on top of each other. Line them up. Okay, so we got our legs cut. Let's cut uh, the roost. I'm gonna go 18 inches spread, so there'll be two perches. One at 18 and one at 36. And then I'm gonna follow this angle, which is a 45. Let's see if I can get it right here. There it is. And just take my point here at the 45 and mark it from that point up. Same here. Now we attach the two by fours, like so, right on the line there. Now I got the uh, thing all built. I drilled a hole in the stud here, and I kind of brought it out a little bit so that the stud won't be touching the siding. And the plan is, because we cut the dog ears, that it should be able to swivel up and down. So let's see how I did here. And then on this side over here, because I have a solid framing member there, I'm just gonna put a lag bolt in there. It should, yeah, do that. And that's what went into building all these accessories for the chicken house. I think they should be pretty happy now. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you found it uh, inspiring or it gave you some information, so don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.